Oof, these gnats are terrible. And I don't know why these people will not clean up behind themselves when they done at the range. Now you stay there, I'll take you to the garbage in a minute. God, it's a bunch of trash sure. down here. None, I'm tired of picking up trash behind people. I've been picking up <laughs> since I got here. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing today? Y'all good? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. As you can see, we are in a safe and controlled environment. We are at the gun range, Miami, Miami, Immokalee Range and Gun Club to be exact. Y'all see where my mind at? Yes. So as y'all party already read with the title, I will be rating. Now, I don't know um, which ones they will be, but I will be rating hoods or, or I pulled out a few uh, firearms that I felt like would be something that you would probably run into in one of these Miami hoods. Now, um, it was not a uh, sit down, you know, talked about it. it, it we, we briefly discussed it. So I don't know what it is or what um, hood he will be hitting me with, but I think I pulled out enough. And being from Miami, I feel like I pulled out and made some really good decisions and choices based off any place that he calls. So you ready? I think I got it. I oh, think. you ready. <laughs> yes, I'm ready. Um, we do have some stuff out here. Y'all, these gnats, they getting worse and worse. It rained. When I tell you it came down this morning and now it's all drying up and these gnats, there's not even mosquitoes, they're gnats flying all over the place. All right, so... You call, I so pull. I'm going to call the hoods. Yeah, you call, I pull, and then I shoot. And this is basically what gun you think represent. Right. Based on what it is that I chose, what it is that I pulled out. All right. <laughs> I'm going to you with five Miami hoods. Okay. So you got to pick whatever out of gun, my five, rifle, whatever. Yeah, out of my five that I pick... I will pick the one that fits the best in the hood that you say. Uh, yeah, this should be good. All right, first, let's go with, um, I'm going to go with High Lil, your people's. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. High Lil, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. So, I, I was already prepared for that. So, I knew you was going to call that. So, see what them Cubans got out there in Hialeah. <laughs> I chose a shotgun for Hialeah. Now, although I know que todos los cubanos quieren portar lo que porta la policía, cuál es un Glock, pero no estamos hablando del Glock. All right, so um, I chose the uh, shorty shotgun. This is my Mossberg 590. Quick clear check. She is clear and um, she is now, she was safe um the beauty about this one here it takes all three shells it takes a three inch um uh the minis and the two and three quarters i enjoy it i like this a lot and um i just mentally felt like if you go into a corner uh, a bodega or something well i guess that would be i guess a little cuban store to get you a pastelito or something no i i don't agree with you don't agree with this one not for how I live. I'm I don't know. I just feel like you go in there acting crazy. This is what's going to come up from behind the, the counter. I would have went with a Glock. I, that's, oh, uh -oh. that's what I was going to go with. But I was like, mm. I, I, I feel like I got Glock for something else. For, for something else. And we will wait and see if you call. Oh, you uh, got a Glock? You brought a Glock? Well, I wasn't supposed to say that. But I'm going to see if you call this this location and then hopefully so. If not, I'm going to have to use it somewhere else. But as I stated, we are in a safe and controlled environment. We are at the gun range, Immokalee Range and Gun Club. We're going to suit them up early because we're going to be uh, setting them down early. All right. So I'm going to load this up with just a few. Give you a couple of two and three quarters. Give you a couple minis. And um, this is what I felt like you would see in Hialeah. Run up on one of them poppies, huh? From one of them poppies. Hialeah, agua fango y factorías. <laughs> Rice and beans. Huh? Rice and beans. Rice and beans, 
frijoles negros, arroz blanco, uh, picadillo. Ok, so, Mossberg 590S. ¿Listos? Go. Woo, saw that difference. Those were minis, and that was your <laughs> two and three quarters. That was also two and three quarters. That was finito. So, hi Aliyah, Mossberg 590S. Even though you didn't agree. Oh, man. I should have brought an AR for hi Aliyah. Un AR. All right. So that was number one. Okay. All right. Um. Let's go to Liberty City. The Poker Bean Projects. Brown subs. That was a no-brainer for me. I knew off rip what it was going to be and what I was going to do. And it's this right over chia. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. What you laughing for? Quick clear check. She is clear. And I mean... Y'all know how I feel about these. The Micro Draco. So the Draco represent the city. Represents the city. Yeah, would you, would you agree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, because you didn't agree with my first one, but you agree with my second one. Yeah. Okay, all right, let's send these shots down. I do have a 29 round magazine. Vamos a mandar esta candela. So this is who? Poke and Bean Project. <laughs> Woo! Clear and safe. The city. All right. So I'm one for two right now. Oh, y'all ain't peep it. <laughs> All right. All right. Number three. Moving on down the road from the Poker Bean Projects. Let's go with them Zoes. Let's go with Lil Haiti. I, uh, I guess it'll work. It'll work. It'll work. Hey, but I didn't want to use this one. It'll work. It's just going to have to work. <laughs> now, it can all flow together and make sense at this point. Little Haiti. We got the underfolder. Right. Put this down. The ATI underfolder, AK-47, milled, absolutely beautiful. That's how she looks, but she will not be complete until. You do it up. What's going on? We got us some electrical tape on here. She a little roughed up, beat up. This is a classic. I think this fits. I think it fits. I Why didn't want to use, on? huh? Why you put the tape? I put the tape. That's for, that's for grip. But I'm saying, why? Because it completes the look. Oh, you did it for look. <laughs> it completes the look. That's what I'm telling you. I didn't want to use this one so right now. Run up on the hate. Yeah, I didn't want to use this one. But based on uh, what I have left, I'm going to have to use this. So, 
the ATI milled AK-47 chambered at 762 by 39 with the 29 round magazine and the underfolder. That thing's smooth. Ooh. Clear and safe with the black electric tape. All right. You done made me use my uh, Joker card. So what we did so far? Hi, Leah. Hi, Leah. The city, uh, Poke and Bean Projects, and we did Little Haiti. Let's go with the locks. Open lock. What you got for me? Open locker. You better come correct too. Opa loca. Opa loca. Ah. Uh, dang, I got two left. And I'm gonna just go with what I think could be the better of the two. That would be the Glock 17 with the 29 round magazine. It's efficient. It is? Yeah. I felt like I could do a little bit more. All right, well, it's official. Let's do it then. Chambered in nine millimeter. This is the Glock 17 Gen 4 with the 29 Ooh wee. Woo! Caliente. <laughs> to Glock. What happened to Glock Jam? Doing funny stuff. But anyway. Glock 17, Gen 4, with, this is what I call the Mike Lowry, with that uh, stainless slide for Opalaka. Well, at least I, I got three now. Three out of five. Can't mess this one up. And that bird. You heard me? Now. Can't mess this one up. Okay. Wait, if you don't call what I'm thinking, I could have very well messed this up. Let's go at Overtown. Overtown. First 48. What originated that? Now, I'm satisfied. It may not seem Oh, that's that Mini 14. This is the Mini to the eye. It may not seem like much. Yeah, uh, it's official. If you don't know. It's official. If you don't know the history um, or just, just, just know, just know. The Mini 14 is way more than what becomes of the eye. Yeah, I know you probably be like, no, nah, no, nah, Yoke, you flunked with that one. No, trust me. Now, the only, see if I got that oh, in there good. Fish. Struggle with these magazines a little bit. Told you. Magazine is a asshole to insert. And it did not. It has a rock and lock style insert. All right, it's a little bit of a jerk to load, but this Mini 14 Ruger Mini 14 chambered in 5.56 is definitely a force to be reckoned with. I enjoy this shoot so much. Only thing it's five round magazines you can um, get larger capacity magazine. I do have a 10, but um, 
We got these five here today. Let's get these last five on that Ruger Mini 14. There you go. Muy bueno. Safety is right here on the trigger guard. No, y'all heard that still. Now you can dress her up. You can't change, uh, well, they do have one that um, blacked out really nice. That Ruger Mini 14. Did my camera just die? I'm sorry, as I was saying, the Ruger Mini 14. Super great, do not let it under, the look underestimate you one bit. Now I'm sorry, I did say that you can change the furniture on here. No, this is just one, uh, one wooden piece, but they do have a version of this that's blacked out and it's really, really cool looking. I've been looking for one um, just to add, uh, just because. All right, so what you have um, experienced here is um, five unknowingly <laughs> um, options that I chose. And um, as you heard, my husband was, put, you know, uh, mentioning different hoods in Miami and I pulled out what I thought it is that I had that would best fit um, those areas so number one was Hialeah this was my Mossberg shorty this is the 590s then we went into the beans with the micro Draco then we went into the ATI milled AK-47 with the underfolder and the tape, the electrical tape on the grip. Little Haiti. Little Haiti. Oh, what did I say? Little Haiti. Sorry about that. Then we came in with the Glock 17 Gen 4 and this was who? Opalaka. Opalaka. Yes. And last but not least, we are talking about that Ruger Mini 14 chambered in 556. And this one was who? You tell me, you don't remember? I don't remember just that quick. Overtown. Overtown. <laughs> Overtown. Now, again, this was not the only thing that I chose was the firearms. He just Shot out the hood. So, um, yes, I did have a little bit of uh, brain fart there in getting that back together. But yes, so what did y'all think? Now, in the order of what it is that you're seeing, would if you have done any uh, swapping around, would you give uh, Overtown something different? Would you have given uh, the beans something different? Would you have given uh, Lil Haiti something different? Drop that in the comments. I would like to see what um, everybody was, cho what everybody chose, but this is what I chose. So with that being said, yo gang, listen, if you have not yet given this video a thumbs up, make sure that you do. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Subscribe, the ch subscribe to the channel. We have us a good time over here. I think I'm all right. And um, thank you again for supporting the channel just by watching this video. And if you get a chance, head over to www.yokegang.com, pick up a t-shirt or a patch. And um, that is also a way to support the channel. But y'all know I love it when things work. Everything works, but I love y'all for life. Peace.